The final one before the uh, pop-up design session is actually from Mohawk College, and that's uh, Gwen Zeldenroost. Um, and let me just bring that up. That's it. So Gwen, one podium mic. Okay, great. Good. Good morning. I'm Gwen Zeldenroos from Mohawk College, and I work in community partnerships and learning. And what we do is we administer funded access programs. One of our uh, main programs that I work on is called City School by Mohawk. What City School is, is um, it's a place-based model of program course delivery. So we go out into communities and deliver courses to people who would um, be unlikely to attend post-secondary um, education for whatever reason, social, historical, uh, financial barriers. So we go out into the communities and we run courses in communities where the participants are comfortable and um, <clears throat> likely to continue on with their education. Recently, we've embarked on a fairly new partnership with uh, local employers who are under the umbrella of the Hamilton Port Authority. And they've asked us to uh, come up with some solutions, uh, employment solutions. And what we have done is together, we've come up with a non-credit course um, appropriately named Careers at the Port. So um, <clears throat> it's this course is innovative. It's employer-led. We've really listened to the employers and what do you need, what do you want. And what we came up with was this course that was designed around raising awareness about career opportunities, that there seems to be a gap. People are not necessarily looking at these career opportunities, and yet they're looking for jobs. So it's really very soft skills or essential skills or key skills, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's really that um, based on those kinds of skills that are really hard to um, demonstrate that you've, you've, uh, you have them. So, but the, one of the really interesting things about the course is that, and, and one of the hard things that we're having, you know, we're trying to get our minds around is it really focuses on awareness rather than performance. So um, this is a pilot project, so our next step in this pilot project is to add some badges to the course. Um, so what we, what we want the students to be able to do is demonstrate that they have these skills and we end up looking at it in a sort of a mock job interview uh, way where it's not formally assessed. They're not submitting anything where we can say, oh yeah, they did it. Uh, we're just watching and observing. Um, but we want to try badging with this particular course because we feel it's going to give participants a sense of completion. Um, if they know they might be getting badges at the end, they're more motivated to continue. Um, and also, so employers, uh, employers can identify those who have taken the course and, and that they know that they have this awareness of things like work, work ethic, dependability, teamwork, self-motivation, and customer service. So it's very nascent. So I, I've just gone through it and I've looked at what badges could we, um, what could we give? What kind of badges could we give out? And I've identified two potentials. Uh, one of them is a completion badge. So they're here, they've completed, th these are the things that they, they've been exposed to, and the students came and they finished. The other badge would be an active engagement badge where these students really actively participated in the activities within the course. And this would be something we'd need to track, the teacher would need to track. Um, I, as I said, it's really nascent. So um, I just sort of did a mock-up from the CanCred factory. So we haven't really um, cemented anything yet, and we haven't launched. So my question to you is, how can we take our badge strategy to the next level? Helping earners demonstrate the authentic evidence of their <clears throat> authentic, soft, essential, key skill employment skills. Thank you. <laughs> 